Okay, so today we are going to look at shogi. So, what is shogi? Shogi is a variant of chess. It follows similar rules, yet there are key differences. For example, once a piece is taken, they are grasped in the hand, and the player who has taken the pieces can use them to strike at the opponent. The pieces, once taken, can be placed on almost any space on the board. This rule does not apply to the pawn, known as the fuhyo in Japanese. The pawn can only be placed on the board if there are no other pawns on the player's vertical axes. Another key difference is regarding the horse or knight, known as the kema. The knight can only move in a forward direction, that is, it retains the L-shaped movement, however it cannot move to the side nor backward. Another key difference is regarding the actual layout and pieces. Standard shogi has a board with a 9 by 9 grid. There is a number of pieces that have the capability to move in a fashion that is not familiar to western chess. These include the Gincho and the Kincho. Both move only one space in a defined manner respective to each type of piece. In terms of pieces, you only have one castle known as the Hisha and one bishop known as the Kakugyo and there is no queen. This means that although it is a variant of chess, the strategy plays out in a significantly different way. Coupled with the fact pieces can return to the board, many games between seasoned veterans can last from hours to days. The final significant difference I would like to mention is that pieces can be promoted. Not unlike the concept in Western chess when your pawn reaches the other side of the board. However, the pieces have predefined movement upgrades that are set to each piece. And not all the pieces can be promoted. The act of promoting a piece is simply done by flipping the tile and revealing a different kanji that is on the underside of the piece. This brings me to the final point in the differences, and this is one of aesthetics. The pieces are flat tiles. On them are ca carefully painted or carved kanji calligraphy that details the name of the piece. So by now you are probably wondering does this game resemble chess in any way? Well, it certainly does. It was developed in a unique manner over the centuries by the Japanese, but it does resemble and feel like chess. If you already play chess, this game is an exciting and refreshing new twist on the strategy game genre. Do not be deterred by the differences, I implore you. If you love the game to delve into this wondrous exotic form of chess. There is of course a king known as the Osho. The king just like in chess must be protected and the same manner of checkmate ends the game. The same activity of planning and foresight is required to execute your victory. The same process of logic is required and indeed, many of the pieces resemble significantly the standard Western chess pieces. This game is incredible. Although the time in which the original variant of chess arrived in Japan is highly disputed, it is well documented that shogi was of significant importance in the Heian era. The earliest document regarding the details of shogi is the Kirin Sho, 
by one Fujiwara Yukinari. It was created sometime between 970 and 1030. The exact date of the document is unknown. The oldest archaeological find was discovered in Nara and was dated to around 850 years old. The following centuries from the Heian era onward saw significant amendments to the rules and layout, sometimes making the game more complex and sometimes making the game simpler. Modern shogi as was described earlier in this video was entrenched in society during the Edo era so in the 17th century roughly an interesting thing about shogi is it is a lot more firmly placed in the popular culture of Japan even people who do not play the game nor understand the rules respect the top players of the nation and follow the updates over the course of tournaments. The top shogi players are household names and the youth view them as pretty darn cool. Sota Fuji is the youngest player and one of the greatest there has been. He is a household name and well respected for his adept strategy and prowess on the board. He is one cool dude. Women are yet to surface in the high ranks of the game, but there are a number of initiatives to encourage women to play, and as Japan is becoming a society with more and more liberty, a female champion is arguably inevitable. So, do you have what it takes to challenge yourself? Do you have what it takes to learn this renowned Japanese game? If so, you can play online for free, buy a board at Toys R Us or Amazon and even get a version of the game on Steam. This version. So, let's have a look at the pieces. Here we go. So, this is the equivalent of a pawn. It's called a Fuhyo. Sometimes just Fu. Unlike Western chess, the Japanese shogi pawn does not capture diagonally. It can only move one space forward and capture a piece that is one space forward. It cannot move two squares forward on the first move. Cool. Let's look at the next piece. Gold Generals. Kinsho. They can move to any square in front of them, to the side and straight back. They cannot move backwards diagonally. This piece is actually my favorite piece, incidentally. Okay, let's look at the next piece. Okay, so this one's a little bit trickier to explain because you do not see this in Western chess. This is the Silver General, Ginsho. They can move one square forward or one square diagonally. They cannot move sideways and they cannot move straight back. Okay, cool. Let's look at the next piece. Okay, so this is the equivalent of a knight or a horse. In Japanese, it's called the Keima. The Keima moves two squares forward and one square sideways each turn. So, in the traditional L shape that we see in Western chess, but it can only move forward and right, forward and left. 
Alright. So, let's look at the next piece. This piece is the player's rook or castle, known as the Hisha. It can move in any direction, up, down, left and right. Unlike in chess, you cannot castle with the king. Alright, cool. Let's look at the next piece. This piece is the equivalent of a bishop. It is known as the Kakugyo. Bishops can move diagonally in any direction, as many squares as the player chooses. And you only get one in Shogi. Okay, cool. Let's look at the next piece. Okay, so this piece is called a lance in Japanese. Kyosha. Kyosha can move forward only. However, the player can choose how far. When you get to the other side of the board, you can promote it. So it becomes more useful and can unleash pretty wicked strategy upon the opponent. Okay, let's look at the next piece. Okay, so the king, Osho. The king, like in western chess, can move a single square in any direction. If a player's king could be captured on their opponent's next turn, they are obliged to make any possible move to prevent that, just as in chess. The game ends in the same manner by a checkmate. Pretty cool. And remember, there's no queen. Okay, let's look at the next piece. Okay, so this piece is the promoted pawn, known as Tokin. And they have the same moves as the Gold General. They gain a much wider range of movement. Cool. Alright. Let's look at the next piece. Okay, a promoted lance, known as Narikyo, also gains the same moves as the Gold General when it promotes. Due to the limited movement capabilities of the unpromoted lance, you usually have to wait a while to get them into the promotion zone. Okay, let's look at the next piece. So, this is the upgraded knight, the upgraded Kama. It is known as the Narike. As with pawns and lances, the knight, when promoted, gains the ability of the gold general. Alright, cool. Let's look at the next piece. A promoted rook. No. It gains the ability to move one square diagonally in addition to the moves it already has. So it can move forwards, backwards, sideways, and one space diagonally creating unlimited strategic possibilities. Pretty cool, huh? All right, let's look at the next piece. Okay. So, a similar change occurs with the promoted bishop known as the Ryuma. It gains an ability to move one square sideways, 
forwards or backwards and retains the power of the bishop. Again, unlocking some cool strategic possibilities. Okay, so the next piece. The promoted silver general, known as the Narigin. It loses its backwards diagonal moves upon promotion. But it gains, again, like other pieces, the power of the gold general. Pretty cool, huh? Alright, 